just about to hit seven o'clock. I'm just about to jump in the van and pick Stuart up. All I have to do before I go is just finish my coffee and uh, get the camera back. Let's go to freaking Liverpool. Right, I'm at Stu's place. There's our van. Don't look like there's any activity. So I'm after going bang on the door. And guess what I've done? I've left my wallet and the cash for the tanks at home. Frig's sakes. But we've got to go back through town anyway once I've picked Stuart up. So it's not the end of the world. What a donkey. No. Had to knock him up. Remain positive. I'm pissed off like, but remain positive and uh, well, sit in the van for 20 minutes whilst he has a shit. Woohoo! Five of these little beauties. Conicals, two inch RJT outlets, cooling jackets, casters on the legs. Uh, need a bit of work though in terms of a few more fittings putting on there and there's quite a bit of beer stone inside. So we'll just blast that with a bit of acid and recirculate that for an hour or so. That should get rid of it all. They've also got very different tops. See that one and that one. If you notice, they've got uh, rings on. Can you see them? Yeah. Whereas that's a different, these three are different rings on the top. So, who knows? Anyway, I'm double parked and the battery light's flashing at me, so we're gonna go and take this van back before we get charged extra for it. So we're back. We've got the tanks in the brewery, as you can see behind me. Um, good run, actually. Quite event-less and uh, I've just measured up all of the dimensions for the tanks. They come out at 610 litres each. You can see that they've got cracking conicals on the base, handles, legs, casters, the works. So, just changed the battery. So what I'm going to do is give you a walk around the tanks, show you the insides of them, uh, because there's a bit of beer stone on the inside. And then we'll also have a look at the cooling jackets. Some of them are in peculiar places, uh, but we can relocate them as we require. And uh, the same goes with any ports, holes. Uh, I need to put holes in the lids for CIP. All the lids are at the back there. I don't know if you can quite see those. But yeah, the lids can't be bolted down as such, but they do have like a lip on them. I think they're going to be fine if we need to modify them. We'll modify them, but I'm quite pleased. So I'm going to take off the tripod and we'll have a few close-up shots of exactly what we've gone and picked up. But all in all, 550 pound a tank. Even if they need a bit of work, I'm happy. I couldn't make them for that, quite frankly. So uh, yes, very, very pleased. Oh, 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 oh,
there we are. This is the five new tanks that me and Stuart have bought today. They look the part. They're the same height as the other ones and I think once we've got the cladding on them, the only difference is gonna be these five are gonna remain mobile. The casters on the bottom of the tanks are heavy duty, robust. And let's face it, even on a full tank at 610 litres, each one is gonna practically only be carrying about 150 kilos. That ain't a lot, maybe 200 including the weight of the tank and any cladding that we put on there. I think they look the bomb. So I'm gonna wrap it up, short one today, uh, but I was up early. I'm gonna give Gemma a call and while I wait for her to pick me up, I'm gonna nip into the brew shed and have a well-deserved vacant gesture, I think, ready for uh, picking it back up again tomorrow, where we're gonna actually visit, revisit the doors tomorrow. These tanks, now we've got them, are gonna sit there, probably over Christmas, until uh, we've recuperated some of the funds that we spent on them, um, because obviously we don't want to stretch ourselves too thin on the ground, and then we'll pick up modifying these in the new year, but yes. Excited. Well, we've got it. The expansion has begun. We barely finished the build.